on yourself I guess the therapist to phone for you She really help Then you could be a better man for your brand new girl Ladines, ladines, what the f Welcome to another video today. Um, it's gonna be a different style of video. We're actually gonna be working on a lawnmower. You're actually gonna see me work on the lawnmower. Usually, I'm sitting here and I tell you what I've done. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're working on this thing because this, since last time you've seen it, which is not actually too long ago, nothing still has been done to this thing. <laughs> Got everything's been going on with this thing. Because that, I don't, uh, fuck you. But this is our main sort of focus. So this is going to be my, this is my, for those of you who don't know, my wheel horse garden tractor. It's not, it doesn't say garden tractor anyway, but that's what it's going to be. It used to be a lot more, but the deck was taken off of it before I got it. And I wanted something like this, um, just to have around, because I know I do have, I don't know, like, stuff, stuff like that. And that but the problem with those is that I drive around the yard and let's just say I have a heavy foot and I mark the garden and my parents don't like that so we have this now um, I don't know since last time you've seen it uh, I think we have the fuel cell back and it's tightened on um, but we have some new plants for it now. Also, apologies about this mess. I haven't been arsed to clean it yet. So hopefully next time you see this, it'll be clean. But where is my checklist? Here they are. So, wheel, wheel, focus. God damn it, I just put this on the table. Fuck off. So, wheel horse to do. There we go. Make an exhaust. I want to make sort of like a tractor exhaust for it. Make a hitch. Uh, so I can tow around our trailers, make it run, obviously, better battery connectors, so I'll get into that, clean it, make a trailer for it, uh, remove old stuff from its previous life, uh, lights, and a cup holder. Now, I was originally going to do lights, but now I'm kind of thinking there's not really any point in doing lights, but a cup holder I definitely want, because why not? Now, battery connection, see the problem with the battery is that it sits right here. And when you try to tighten the connections, it's not like normal car connections, it's literally just this. It's literally just a bolt holding on the connectors. So, it's a pain because they are trying to tighten them and it's painful. So, my, uh, I was talking with my dad and he was recommending we mount it round back. And then we can put whatever battery we want in it. So, I was saying we put it in here on the hitch cut this piece out but he doesn't want to cut it and I don't really want to cut it either so what we're going to do what we've decided on doing is making a little piece that sits back here and put the battery behind the driver and then secure it and all that so yeah um that's what we're going to try and do today trying to figure that out um yeah also this is yes this is held on with the cable tie I'm going to say it's temporary, but everybody knows when you say something's going to be temporary, it stays there. So, yeah. Hasn't ran. I, I, I literally could just shove petrol in it and put the battery in it and make it run. But no, I have to overcomplicate it and just... God damn it. I'm just stupid. Anyways, I'm going to get to taking the seat off. And the plan is pretty much we're just going to bolt it on to where... Focus to where the seat is, so just take the seat off and then put a new piece of metal in and then make it come out to like around here-ish uh, so that can all be reverted if we need to then run our battery connections from here under the tractor maybe and then up here maybe in through, oh, drill some holes up here and then connect it right here and already is a hitch which is sick so yeah uh, and then yeah, I think that's really the plan for today. Uh, might do some other stuff. I don't know. But yeah. Also, um, everything that I said about... Where is it? Oh, that. 
I completely lied. Uh, I want to turn into a show car now. So I'm saving up money right now to buy some lowering suspension for it. I'm going to get some nice wheels. I'm going to drive it around to car shows and shit. I think it'd be pretty cool because it's 20 years old and it, we can get into classic shows now. So, yeah. Anyways, what I'm going to do right now is stop yapping and get to work. So, situation update. We have saddle off. Uh, and what I... Jesus, this is actually kind of heavy for a saddle. Now, something that I found out is that those four screws are also holding on this. This tailboard, which is great, because I went to get up thinking, oh, that's still strapped down, put all my weight on it, and it just went up. So that's great. Um, it's only a little cut, so I'm fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's really dirty under there, as you can see by my... And it's not, they're not too bad, because I washed them, but, you know. So I think what I might do is give this a little bit of a clean... And yeah, uh, let's just, yeah, I think that's my plan. I'm going to give this a little bit of a clean, since I want to give this thing a whole clean anyway, um, but just so it's a bit nicer to work with, I'm just going to give it a quick clean, bring it outside, and yeah, clean it. Here we go. Okay, perfect. It's not really a very good tripod. I've got my proper tripod. I have it in a bit, you and a baby vice right now. So how heavy is this? No. Um, I didn't really think this through. All right, put that over there. Ah, dead board. That's me. That's you. Yeah. Look at that. That's actually really sick. Should I keep this off and just put the seat back? Hold on. Clean the view over there for now. What if I just? <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Why is that? Why does that actually look cool? It does look very dangerous, though. You put your hand down here, you're fucked. But anyways, um, yeah. Now we're gonna go. I'm not gonna go wash the top part. Okay, so now that this thing sticks out like a sore thumb, uh, it's back on. Well, temporarily anyway. Now, I didn't do the best job, as you can see, there's still pretty gunky. But again, this thing was sitting for 20 years. So there's like 20 years worth of grime, plus however many years of service grime, if you know what I mean. Like, there was still grass in... There's not much grass on it now, but it's been sitting in the garage for the last 20 years. So... Anyways, it's out now, or it's out now. I think once it gets running, I'm gonna clean the whole thing. But I'm gonna be working, like if I want to make the uh, battery thing, I'm gonna be working a lot here. So I thought might as well clean it up, make my life a little bit easier. So, uh, yeah, I was originally gonna run it without this part, but then it wouldn't be very safe because uh, take that off and if you dangle your hand or you put something here. It's literally there, but the wheels are fucking massive. Still can't get over that. So yeah, uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna try and do today. My food's gonna be food's gonna be ready soon. Oh, actually, I took off. I took off this little pulley. This was probably from the mower thing, so I took that off. A little bit sketchy, but it's off now. And I don't know if I said this on camera, I'm pretty sure I probably did knowing me, but I wanted to put a horn on this. That idea is good. I'm going to chuck it in the, the, the garbage because it's way too much effort to wire up a horn. And I just want this thing to run, I want it to drive, I want it to haul around stuff, and that's it. Um, but yeah, exhaust, uh, you, you probably t you already know, it's going to go whoop like that, mint. Um, yeah. So I think that's really... Now I just need to try and plan how I want to do this. I also want to install a cup holder on this, because that would be fucking sick to have a cup holder. Or bottle holder, or something along those lines. So yeah. Um, let's just... Uh, I think this is probably going to be the end of the video, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. 
um, it's a quick video, I know, but I kind of want to start doing more of these small, tight, small videos, t telling you guys or showing you guys how I'm building stuff instead of doing, waiting a month, showing you it, and then, or blitzing over. I kind of want to show you guys the process on how I built, or build my shit, so, yeah. Um, today, or, we're actually going to try and cut out the tray out of this piece of metal and hope it works. Um, yeah. Can we go? Oh, I don't know. Right, let's go. Let's give it a shot. How do I? No. I think there's like a way to finick this blade. Seems like. I don't know. All right. Uh, let's make this safe first of all. Hopefully that won't catch fire. It shouldn't, right? Right. I'll do it this. Actually, we'll do it. We'll open up this. Okay. Hold on. Give me. I want, I want to try and film this. So, give me two. Give, give me a minute. Hold on. No. Okay. So. That's that uh, moved. Hopefully you can see. You can see. Okay, good. Right. Let's hope I don't die. Okay. Actually, stop that for a second. I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna figure out how to move the guard first. Give me a second. Figured out how to move it. So now we're gonna cut it. And hope we don't die. Oh no, don't do this to me. Maybe we should probably get a different ankle grind. Because this thing I don't think is gonna be mad enough for the job. Because what I did before is see what happens with this thing. Is if you put it under too much pressure, it'll stop. And this is the second one that I've used. The other one broke because it kept stopping and it just stopped altogether. So what I think I might do is wait for a better ankle grinder. I'll, I'll, I'll take five. Okay, so it's a little bit later on and the ankle grinder didn't work. So we got a jigsaw, cut it that way. And it's here, so not the best. As you can see, it's a little bit jacketed, but it's okay. We're gonna put a little bit of paint on it, a little bit of black spray paint, satin black. This is also the paint that I've painted a lot of different things with, so I think it should be okay. We have the little painting table here, as we're now gonna call it. So we're gonna paint it so that it looks a little bit nice and it should be a little bit more resistant to rust, maybe? I don't know. It's already rusted a little bit, but that's okay. Sand it down a little bit. Give a little bit of paint, should be good. So this is kind of before, if you will, and we'll get an after. And I'm gonna put it on a lot more, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we need to make a support though, so from the hitch up to it, so that the battery, when it sits on it, it will actually fit. So yeah, um, I think that'll be it probably for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. This time it should be the end of the video because I need to go do other things. So I'm going to paint this, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Don't die. See you next time.